Okay, there's madness happening downstairs because mom is getting ready to leave. I wanted to be gone by now. I wanted to be at the store. It opens at nine. I'm going to pop into the thrift store. Also, hi, hello. My name is Elena. <laughs> welcome, welcome back. Um, we're going to go to the library, but first I wanted to stop at the thrift store. Is this a good idea? Probably not. Also, like I mentioned, I wanted to be there already. It's a little after nine now and it opens at nine and I wanted to get there when it opened because I had to be home at, by a certain time. We're already off to a little bit of a quakey start, but that's okay. Let's dive into it. Okay, I didn't film like, I think I made, did maybe two clips in the thrift store. So who knows if they'll even make it in the video, but we're at the library now. We're gonna go into the library and maybe if we have enough time, we'll head over. There is a used bookstore that's near the library. I don't know, I kind of want to go there too. The thrift store, I went through the books. I ended up getting one like little tiny book to actually leave in the car for my youngest son. So it's like 75 cents um, and I picked that up, but I felt like, I don't know, the prices were a little bit higher than usual. Maybe it's me or maybe it just, it is because everything is pricier than, than before. <laughs> but anyways, um, let's go into the library. Let's see, let's go look at books. I feel like I've been in a little bit of a slump, reading slump, which is why I kind of want to come to the library and just pack out different books. But it is, I'm like an hour ish behind when I want it to be, but it's okay. I keep saying that. I think I'm just trying to convince myself. Okay, we're back. It ended up being running errands, um, kind of. So let me start with the last trip first because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But I ran into the Dollar Tree in case you want to see what we got. I'll show you. I got a birthday card. So there's that. 
probably not exciting. We're going to send that off though. Um, just a regular scarf. I had one and I don't know what I did with it, but sometimes I like to tie up my hair. I also got something for my daughter. My kiddos are here next to me, so as I'm showing you, we may we may get some feedback on them. But um, she has been wanting a pearl necklace, or not necklace, um, headband. And I found this one. This has got like a little cute design on it, like the little wave. So I bought this one. It's kind of thin for her hair. She's really thick hair, so I don't know, but really pretty. Dollar twenty five. We'll try it out. Other boring things, bobby pins, AAA batteries, anybody else like go through these like toilet paper, it's just ridiculous. Maybe if I stop buying them from the Dollar Tree, they last us longer. We did buy reusable ones, but I, I, we just must have like a bajillion remote controls because they're in everything. Um, this, our Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree that I popped into was a Dollar Tree Plus and our bubble machine broke on us and so this one was only three dollars it is teeny tiny but it only takes two double a batteries which ironically is not the batteries that i bought but we have some double a's so i thought we'd try this maybe in the evening hours or first thing in the morning because it's still really hot where we are so bought that cute little guy this i was excited about i <laughs> These were part of the dollar twenty-five things, but there are three of them basket labels. Like they just go on clip on. Um, so I'm gonna try this out in a couple of different spots that we have, but I, I really like labels. It's my high hopes that people will actually read them and return things where they belong. It doesn't really happen, but we can keep hoping, right? So three of these for dollar twenty-five. And then my youngest loves the sticker puzzle books. So I found one for him. They are super, super thin at the Dollar Tree, but these are Hot Wheel ones and they just have, um, these are kind of smaller pieces, so maybe it'll last him a little bit longer. Um, but you have like, the stickers are numbered and then, let me see if I can show you the page in case you've not seen it before. And then you just match the number up in here and it's a puzzle, but you put it together with stickers. And so these are really good for him when we're on the go or just when he needs to be like quiet and still for a moment and he has a hard time with that. He really enjoys these. So I got one of those as well. I stopped at the grocery store because I wanted rye. I was wondering what this bag was. I wanted rye grains. So I got some. To, I'm going to try to feed it to my sourdough and see if it does a little bit better with that. And then I tried this. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw this. But uh, slate french vanilla protein drink it's only 20 grams of protein zero fat two grams of carbs and one gram of fiber um it didn't taste that bad so i bought another one because they're on sale right now where i picked it up and um i thought on sundays when we leave for church i usually don't eat before we go so i thought if i added this to like my coffee um or just took this then it would be I usually add it to coffee though, let me be real. <laughs> uh, it would be a protein coffee and then that way it would last me a little bit longer. So, so I don't come out of church like I'm super, super hungry. I can at least make it until we get home or what have you. So we went to the thrift store. It was crowded already. Um, it was kind of crazy. Everybody was, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like people are so grouchy. <laughs> so, it, not everybody, but the majority. It was really, I feel like maybe, I don't know, are we racing in the thrift store? Are we trying to hurry and grab it before someone else does? Is that why everybody is so, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, here's what we got. They had a little pencil sharpener with the little hand crank and I've been wanting one of these for my kids for a long time. So I found one for $1.50. I hope it works. We'll try it out, but we keep breaking the electric ones. And so got this and hopefully, like I said, it works. But $1.50, I found this. Also, I said I love labels. Found a label maker. It's the one that you like move and turn and then click. But it was only a dollar. So I picked that up too. Did, was this on my list? No, absolutely not. But you get there and then like I said, dollar, dollar fifty. that's what I got. Um, this was another thing I was supposed to leave it in the car because I think I'm going to put it back in there for my youngest. This is the book that I got with 75 cents. It is a look and find book, but like I said, when he has trouble sitting, especially in the car, I thought that this would be helpful for him because he could just sit and like try to find what's in there. And he typically likes these movies. Do you like these movies still? Yeah, I love cars. Okay, cool. So we're going to keep this in the pocket, you know. 
in the pocket of the back seat so he could have it and just just a little well I like to have little things in the car for him um, especially when we hit traffic or when um, we add on extra errands and that can be kind of tough for him then he has something that he can like take out and read and um, helps him sit for a little bit longer so we grabbed that as well we being the royal we and then i found some snow boots for my daughter i'm hoping they will fit her by the time winter comes along because this is the size shoe she wears right now so hopefully her foot doesn't grow this until after this winter but we found some little pink snow boots for her they're really warm they seemed in pretty great condition so i'm excited about these they were only four dollars probably because we're so off season right now for them but i don't care like i said i hope that they fit her i hope that they her foot doesn't increase on me so i'm gonna hand these over to her so she can try them on oh she's already wearing her headband there you go going so those are yours then i went to um near the library there was a used bookstore and they were having a sidewalk sale and so i went in there and they're also having another sale at their like warehouse um they're having another sale in a couple of weeks at their warehouse where they keep their storage so <laughs> that's both exciting and i don't know we'll have to find some room in the budget but i just picked up three books one was from the sidewalk sale this one is from the sidewalk sale it is a hardcover book um tie your shoes with woody and buzz so my youngest um is on the spectrum and he is still Still kind of getting the hang of tying his shoes so I thought that I would pick this one up for him just to kind of give him the practice without actually wearing shoes that tie because like right now it's summer it's super hot he's wearing sandals and I'm letting him and so we're, we've fallen off the daily task of tying shoes so this too this would also be a great book to keep in the car for your littles um, your younger ones because then it gives their hands something to do but goes through like the two ears make two ears with your laces just like Slinky, the two big ears like Slinky the dog. And then I guess just different ways you can learn to tie your shoe. So that's handy. Pick that one up. This was, like I said, part of the sidewalk sale. So it was a hardcover children's book, $3. My oldest is a Pokemon fanatic. He said he did not have this book. It's kind of thin, but he wants it for his collection. So since he graciously watched the kids for me, I picked it up for him. This one was $3.99. This is Pokemon. Hollow's beginner's handbook inside it has a poster in here it still has it but it goes through like what the pokemon is kind of like an encyclopedia of sorts so anyways like i said he collects those so we grabbed that and then the last thing i got there was this action bible it was 7.95 and it is like it is not like it is <laughs> the bible but in graphic novel form and I looked this up, this one is a hardcover, and I looked it up to see used what I would be paying, and I'd be paying a lot more than $7.95. It does have two inscriptions on the front where somebody gave it to them originally, and then they crossed it out and they put a new date on it, I guess somebody got it, and now we will be the third owners, and more likely it'll stay for a very long time in our family because not only do I have my oldest who kind of thumbs through this, but I'm hoping that um, it'll attract my youngest too as well because I don't know if some of the pictures might be a little much, but we're going to go through it together. And um, I just thought it would be kind of a neat thing to have on hand. I know we've looked at this before, but we haven't got it. My oldest has an, ac my oldest has an action Bible, but it doesn't have as many pictures as this one does, and, it does, and his is soft cover. And then finally, the library. So my thoughts of the library was, I was in a little bit of a reading slump and I wanted to grab a couple of books to help with that. I, I wanted to find some to help me get out of that, but also last night I started reading, or the night before, I started reading an ebook from the library and it already kind of helped push me to read a little bit more. So the first book though that I'm gonna show you is one that my kids um, requested while I was looking online beforehand um, at cookbooks this one came up avatar the last bender um, the official cookbook recipes from the four nations and I guess my two oldest used to watch this show and so they asked if we could bring it home so they could take a look at it it was really cute I love 
doing movie and food things especially during the school year we will pick like a fun friday and do a movie and then have food that goes along with it so for instance if we do spaghetti we watch lady and the tramp or we did i think i have a video really short video on a couple of the foods we ate we did kung fu panda and we made noodle soup um so those kinds of things but they're going to take a look at this and see if there's anything maybe they want to try from this book and then there's some more books i got let's see so like i said i was reading um online to and it did help start get me out of my reading slump i just felt like i was reading to get the reading done i am still in the middle of 75 soft and one of my goals one of my things was to read 10 pages of nonfiction. And the first book I really loved, I actually, I take it back. I loved more than just the first book, but I noticed that I was just kind of reading to get the reading done and not really absorbing it. And that kind of didn't sit well with me. It kind of, I felt like it was like not the point. Um, so I thought maybe let me pick up something that's lighthearted and that I know that I usually love. And so I went back to my Amish reads and um, I started reading the Honey Bee Sisters by Jennifer Beckstrand, and I'm in the second book already, and so my library had the second and the third book, and so while they're both available as an ebook, I think I will read both at the same time, just because when I'm reading on a, as the ebook, I'm on my phone, and I don't want to be on my phone at night, and I also am trying to be very aware of how much my kids are watching me be on my phone, even if I'm just reading on my phone or a lot of times I'm paying a bill or I'm checking email or things like that but it's still time that I'm in the screen you know and a lot of times I'm on the screen and it leads to clicking and looking at other things and I'm just on the phone more than I want it to be so anyways this one is a bee in her bonnet and then the third one is like a bee to honey there are three sisters they're called the honey bee sisters because they have bees on their farm and they create honey it is Amish romance reads the first book was the first book I think was called sweet as honey yes and that one followed the oldest sister and well parts of it were very frustrating to me um the aunt of the story just kind of made it she's um kind of feisty and doesn't always follow strict Amish ways she's got her ears pierced anyways I'll tell you more in my July recap but I am glad that my art library had these and they had the two that I needed, so got that. Then, because like I said, I've been reading nonfiction and nonfiction has been hitting a little tough for me, um, just not wanting to do it. I did end up picking up the food storage for The Clueless. This just struck me as funny and um, I can always learn more about our food storage and how if I'm doing it properly. And so, um, I thought this would be a good one to kind of thumb through. Oh, cool. It just, it's got, it's got a recipe for yogurt sourdough starter. This one says prospector starter, 10 day starter. This is all in the grow, grow, grow your oat. Cheater sourdough starter. So we already have a sourdough starter, but I mean, good to know, good to see. There's recipes in here and it looks like like following the information then there's a couple recipes down at the at the back um like at the end of the chapter anyways so grabbed this and we'll take a look at that i have quite a mess going on here oh my goodness another one i i was in the cookbook section because like i said i bought some wheat berries rye berries to grind flour again if you follow me on instagram you saw that i was like so nerdily excited because it was the first time i got to use my mill and um so i just want to do like all the things with it right but um i'm trying to figure out i know i've heard that it is slightly different when you start using fresh milled flour as opposed to store store-bought flour so i was trying to check our library to see if they had any cookbooks available before I made the commitment, um, the investment to purchase one, but they didn't really have any. Um, so I don't know if you have, if you mill your own flour and you have a good like recipe book for beginners, let me know down below. I'd really appreciate it because I'm having trouble finding anybody in real life that mills and wants to share like a good guidebook. So um, I did see though this heritage skills for contemporary life, seasons at the Paris house. And so this one says, this is about Beth Miller. She moved with her husband and her four kids. 
and they she didn't know really anything about gardening and things like that and um she so she had to learn it all and so this is her advice and kind of just it says whether you're just starting out or just looking to expand your base of knowledge modern homesteaders will value the lessons offered here so i thought i'd pick that one up too as part of my nonfiction. in that area there was this one that caught my eye the secret history of home economics how trailblazing women harnessed the power of home and changed the way we live i just got a glimpse of it really the cover like kind of drew me in um then I was looking for a new devotional to read with my kiddos and I thought maybe the library would have some. So I picked this one up. They had two or three. Um, it was like a Jesus Calling for Children and then they also had Rick Warren, the Purpose Driven Life devotional for kids. This one is 365 devotions and it just has like a scripture at the top and then he tells a little story or a little bit about it and then a small prayer and so of course you can use this to open up the conversation between you and your kids and things like that i've not read this so i can't like we're just checking it out first time for us too i didn't even realize that he had one like this in the teen section like i said i was just kind of everywhere because i was trying to find different books trying to pull myself out of this reading slump i just i wanted to go peruse and see what i could find and so i found these the red queen i had on my tbr list but it kind of was always out i saw it i took a picture of it let me know if you ever do this too because i thought there was let me know if you do this too but i took a picture of it to kind of save it for myself for later because at the time i was already checking out a bunch of books and i just felt like i have too many there's no way, no way i'm going to read all of these every time i went back to pick it up it was they, it was checked out and then when I looked online there was only one on the shelf um, I didn't bother putting them on hold because like I said I thought that I was gonna get there pretty early I got there early enough to get it but um, it's a popular book so <laughs> I got Red Queen and then next to it was the prequel Cruel Crown and then I also picked up the second book in the series Glass Sword just in case I flew through them then I would be able to like pick up the next book right away because nothing's worse I feel like than having to wait when you're ready to continue the series I also picked up plus one. I have read the other book that I showed by, um, I read the other book, Last Chance Books. I think I showed that in the clip too. So I picked this one up because I've not read this one yet. This one is Leahy Johnson. She likes taking the perfect Instagram picture for someone, a good A-line skirt. Um, who does one? That's awesome. Pancakes success, successfully getting a friend together with their crush. She dislikes being late when Adler isn't speaking to her, waffles, people who are spoiled. Dating history, always the bridesmaid, never the bride, bio. Leahy Johnson was born in central Pennsylvania and has made it her life's mission to drum up some excitement around here by serving as her high school's unofficial matchmaker. She was perfectly happy in her role on the romantic sidelines until her cousin Summer decided to have an obnoxiously excessive sweet 16 and deny her the right to a plus one. Now Leahy has a new life's mission, which is to prove Summer wrong. Wish her luck. So <laughs> this sounds fun, lighthearted. Pick that one up as well. And then if you saw the little papers in the library, um, I thought that was such a cute little thing that the library did to help you pick out your next read, was to go to the fantasy section and pick one out. And so I found in the fantasy section, Natural History of Dragons, a memoir by Lady Trent. I think that I have heard about this some time ago on booktube, but I didn't pick it up. Um, so this is by Marie Brennan, and it, I believe what it does is it's a fictional book about Lady Trent and her study of dragons. Um, so it says, all the world from Skirland to the farthest reaches of Eriga, I don't know if I'm saying that right, sorry knows Isabella Lady Trent to be the world's preeminent dragon naturalist. She is the remarkable woman who brought the study of dragons out of the misty shadows of myth and misunderstanding into the clear light of modern science. But before she became the illustrious figure we know today, there was a bookish young woman whose passion for learning natural history and yes, dragons, defied the stifling conventions of her day. Here at last, in her own words, is the true story of a pioneering spirit who risked her reputation, her prospects, and her fragile flesh and bone to satisfy
satisfy her scientific curiosity of how she sought true love and happiness despite her lamentable eccentricities and of her thrilling expedition to the perilous mountains of Vistrana, where she made the first of many historic discoveries that would change the world forever. And there was more than one, I think, I think I got a clip of this too, uh, but there's more than one, but I just picked up the first one because I already had, I had all of these. Bless these. So I felt like I had enough to like in my bag, plus my bag was getting heavy and I didn't have any of my kids with me to help me carry stuff. So, <laughs> but usually their bags are heavy with their books too. So it worked out for the best. So that is what we did today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and going along um, on our errands. Uh, if I read any of these this month, you'll see them in the July wrap up and then probably maybe some in August because I think they are not due back until then. But again, thanks for hanging out with me and getting this done. I really appreciate you taking your time out and spending it here with me.